Identifying the concepts in your research topic and coming up with keywords for searching are both underappreciated skills. Done well, this will save you a ton of time and result in finding much higher quality information. Some of this is going to seem so basic. I know that, but I'm trying to get you to think about searching in a whole new way, and that means starting at the very beginning. In this case, the very beginning, after you have a research question or topic, of course, is thinking about the main concepts that make up your search. There's a nice balance here. You don't want too few and you don't want too many. Two to three is just right. So let's say I identified this as my research question. How many concepts are included here? I identified these three, women, anxiety disorders, and yoga. And this is much more of an art than a science. You could have looked at this and identified different concepts and that's okay. In your search you're trying to pull out the concepts that are most important to you or the things that you want to learn the most about. And this is something that you will get better at as you move along. Downward facing cat, anyone? The idea of keywords shouldn't be new at all. This is how you search already. The basic idea is that you're searching on the main concepts of your topic in your own words. Using my example, I'm much more likely to use the term anxiety instead of the clinical phrase because that's what I'm more familiar with. This is always where I start a search, is with words that are coming out of my own mind. It's also what I use if the term covers a new topic or is sort of jargony, like kangaroo care. We'll get back to subject headings later. The real flaw of using keywords is that they can be imprecise so you can end up finding way too much stuff. Now, before we get much further into the search process, it's always a good idea to do a test run using your initial concepts. Try to remember that this is just the start of your search. I've been a librarian for almost 15 years and my initial searches tend not to end up what exactly I'm looking for. Frustrating results are the norm at this point and you are welcome to freak out. Well, at least for a few minutes. I'm going to show you two options for running a test search. We are not using Google this time. We're going to be cool and use the library. The first option is using this main search box here called OneSearch. This is like Google, but for the library's databases and resources. Keep in mind that we have a lot, so your search is going to bring up a lot, only some of which will be relevant. The other option is to use these research guides. Just select a guide that is relevant either to your topic or to your major. And once you get into the guides, they will list the best databases, books, and so on that you should be using for your research. I'm just going to focus on OneSearch and do a test search on my topic using just the key concepts I came up with. Again, remember that this is just a test search. You are going to find a lot of information unless your topic is really, really specific. What we're doing here is just going through the first page or two just to get an idea of the kind of articles and the kind of research that's coming up based on our initial search. If you find some good stuff, that is awesome. If not, think about ways that you might alter or modify your search. In this case, I'm finding that women in general might be too broad of a search. I might need to focus on a specific population such as women with cancer or women suffering from PTSD or pregnant women. You can also decide to take your search in a totally different direction if you're intrigued by some aspect of the topic you hadn't yet considered. Remember that research is a circular process and not a straight line. The bad thing is that this initial search is where most students and even some more experienced researchers stop. We, on the other hand, are just getting started. Now, it's not okay to use just a few keywords. This really limits what you can find. We need to take a moment to brainstorm as many alternate terms as we can. Let's use another search related to cyberbullying in adolescence. First, we identify our concepts. So in this one, we've got cyberbullying, middle school students, uh, school strategies, and suicide attempts. It's making me a little anxious because it's four and I don't like really more than three, but we're gonna go with it. Now that I have my concepts, it's time to identify additional terms. So these are some of the additional terms that I came up with just thinking off the top of my head. 
this is really only limited by your imagination and the amount of time you want to spend on this activity. Now, if you do a test search at this point and only find a few articles, feel free to drop a concept, maybe the one that you identify as being the least essential. In this case, perhaps I'll want to drop suicide attempts. Then try your search with only the three concepts versus four. And how you do your brainstorming is totally up to you. Feel free to type out a list or you can kick it old school like I do and actually write it out on paper. My strategy is to first identify the concepts. In this case, there are three. Then I actually write down all the other terms I can think of. Then finally, I start searching while continuing to add additional terms to this list. The whole purpose of coming up with alternate terms is to have as many searching options as possible. If you get stuck with one combination, try something else. This will open up a whole new world of possibilities. I see it like these flip books where you can create all these crazy options. Some will work and some are going to look like a stego -serasaurus. To sum up, concepts. These are the main ideas of your search. You don't want too many and you don't want too few. Keywords, these are the words that you are coming up with to describe your concept. Do you want to do a test run and you want to do it early on before you get entrenched in your search where it will be even more frustrating if you get stuck. And the more you brainstorm and the more terms you come up with, the more options you will have. And the more you know, the easier the search process is going to be.